Ladies and gentlemen, I have not been so humiliated in my whole life until I saw what Black Adred put on the YouTube from the O2 in London. <clears throat> Black Adred, you didn't write all my songs. The only song that you put words to, words to, was Fire the Amus Mustail. <clears throat> and you didn't steer my career. My career had already been steered by High Times, Channel One, Jumbo, Cornerstone, and a couple of labels. <clears throat> I wouldn't stay here and lie about things like these. But I know you told the people in London and all over the world lies which doesn't make up to even one sentence that you said. Now, the people who you're talking about who came with BMW, white BMW and picked me up from your house, is your friends, Maxi Pree's old time managers, Janet, Rose, who set up my um, MCPS royalties, Steve Martin, Black Adred, you and Orlando kept a benefit show in order for me to retrieve some money to get my leg back again. Cause what happened was I caught gangrene in my feet, one of my foot, and I had to take it off before it took my life. I, Paul Blake, christened as my mother christened me, Frankie Paul, the old gagile giant of the ages, have never been so ashamed when I saw what you did. Trying to tarnish my career which I will not let this go any further. Yes, you have done something that no other person would have done in my lifetime. I have to tell people of the world that I will continue to do my work, although I've been faced with diabetes, gangrene, and hypertension, ulcer, which is gone. I'm still living. I'm still eating. I'm still doing my work. My kids, my grandkids, my family, they are all rooting for me to get back on top. My friends, my enemies are all rooting for me to get back on top and I will stay on top until God is ready to take me away from this earth. I have one more thing to say to you, Black Adred, Steve Martin. I love you as a brother. I say it again. Your family is like my family, and I will never disgrace you, ever. My music stands, per my music stands predominant throughout the world, and the benefit show that you guys have done for me to get the leg. I saw the envelope, and I haven't received 
not even a penny out of that money that you guys did the benefit show for me to get my leg for. Not even a dime. So, if you mean me good, any good in this world, <clears throat> I would ask you to please send me the money so I could get my leg and be up and running again. Ow! I ain't much no Casanova and I sing it to you time and time again. Frankie Dance of Paul, the old gagile, giant of the ages, stands strong.